it's devastating. Every, every 15 minutes, I get tears in my eyes just thinking about it. Cole Lorne from Canada is in Fort Worth for the 2024 CrossFit Games and Thursday morning watched the run and swim event at Marine Creek Lake when he witnessed one of the athletes having a tough time. Very, very quickly, he kind of did a couple circles, like he was like turning around trying to, trying to get air and then he was underwater and it happened so fast. The competition was live streamed and in video shared on social media, a swimmer near an orange buoy is seen struggling in the water near the finish line. Right when it happened, there was about 10 of us that saw it and we started screaming um, for the lifeguards. The Fort Worth Police Department says it was not on scene prior to the drowning call, which came in around 8 a.m. And about an hour later, dive teams recovered the athlete's body. I watched his brother run up and down looking for him and it was, it's going to be ingrained in my memory for the rest of my life and it's horrible. The man was identified as 28-year-old Lazar Dukic of Serbia, who was a well-known CrossFit athlete. He posted these photos on Instagram two days ago before the Games. He's an incredible athlete and he's a very good person. I got it. I'm really sad. The CEO of CrossFit says they're reviewing what exactly happened and why. Uh, for an event like this, a, a, a fully planned and documented safety plan. As you know, we had safety personnel on site throughout the event. Um, all of the details around um, the process, the event, what unfolded today, that'll be a part of the details that we work through very closely with authorities. That'll be part of the information um, uh, that's to come as part of the investigation. Thousands of people from all over the world are in Fort Worth for the Games, which came to a halt Thursday after organizers canceled all events for the day. Many people are shaken up by what happened. I'm very emotional about it, goosebumps. Oh, it's a terrible thing to hear. Any loss of life is, is terrible. Um, especially someone competing in a competition. And you wouldn't expect something like this to happen. So definitely very upsetting and for the families, for everybody that's out here. I think it was absolutely preventable, especially where it happened. It was right near the finish line. In Fort Worth, Sophia Boselin, 